The two artworks that I decided to compare and analyze were the sculpture David by Michelangelo and the piece of architecture, the Florence Cathedral. The theme that these two pieces of artwork share is their heroic achievement over the centuries and the worth and hope that they brought to the city of Florence um, through their size and beauty. So first we're going to analyze Michelangelo's sculpture of David. So as we look at David as a person, he was a shepherd's son who was very well known for being a talented magician, and later his fame came from battling and killing the enemy who was Goliath. Michelangelo sculpted David because he wanted to show everyone the heroic man that David really was. As you can see in the sculpture, David is unarmored and he uses a sling to knock down his enemy Goliath and then also beheads him with his own sword. It is no surprise that he is a featured figure in the sculptural series of historic greats in Academia Florence. David to them was viewed as a perfect symbol of Florence with his courage and his strength. In this sculpture, you'll see a lot of different artistic elements that help demonstrate texture detail in David's body that have to do a lot with feeling and emotion. A quote that I once read states, you can see that he is a strong young man with the detail of the veins in his hands and arms as he holds the sling. Through the detail in the sculpture, you assume that David is a strong man that can stand as a heroic figure. The size of David as he stands tall and large makes him very important and overpowering. Michelangelo formed David as a young masculine man as he goes confident into going into battle with Goliath which is a huge example of heroism. Next, we're gonna look at the construction of the Florence Cathedral Dome done by Filippo Brunelleschi. The construction of the dome was in the hands of Florence until Filippo Brunelleschi represented unique strength and an intellectual vision. A quote I once read states, the dome uniquely embodies the power of Florence, which literally and figuratively rose to the skies. This year marks the 600th anniversary of one of Tuscany's greatest landmarks of all time. Brunicelli accomplished what nobody thought possible. This towering cathedral dome is hard to miss, especially when it was an impossible task from the beginning of its construction. According to his biographers, his architectural knowledge came from his long study trip in Rome, where he studied classical temples and the dome of the Pantheon. He also had a sense of proportion and symmetry and the belief that it was possible to build a dome that was self-supportive. The knowledge he gained from this study trip helped him to discover ways of building this magnificent dome, finding ways of creating this dome so that it could rise to a height that makes it so grand and beautiful was an achievement that no other artist can demonstrate. There are many sculptural and artistic elements in this construction of the dome that many people to this day don't understand. There were years of debate on how the dome was constructed, what was the magic trick that provided the result that lay in front of everyone, how the octagonal dome was able to stand. Brunicelli's model was constructed without the traditional wooden skeletal framework by placing the brickwork in herringbone patterns between a framework of stone beams. Florentines also wanted a tall, soaring dome because the cathedral had so much open space, maneuvering heavy materials materials and machinery proved how large and unbelievable this dome really was. Brunicelli proposed an idea of using two domes instead of one. The reason for these two domes was to make possible the absence of these columns in the interior of the cathedral that created a huge covering space that was later painted by famous Italian Renaissance painters. Brunicelli believed in his work and desired to build such a dome. Thanks to his creativity, the Florence Cathedral came to define the city itself. Both the sculpture of David and the Florence Cathedral Dome are big, exquisite monuments that many adoring fans love to visit. Michelangelo's David is surrounded by approximately 1,252,508 people a year. And the Florence Cathedral has around 4.5 million visitors a year. Because these amazing monuments were so inspirational in their size and beauty, they were revolutionary. Michelangelo decided to sculpt David before the victory of Goliath to show its audience and viewers their potential in achieving marvelous things in Florence. Brunicelli's task of completing the dome for the Florence Cathedral took up a great deal of his life. He succeeded and performed in a way so that people would praise him. Brunicelli and David are two beings that have great strength and heroic features that stand out in a crowd. I am happy that I was able to study and analyze these two different but similar pieces of artwork.